We start from the inspection of the chest and we provide it without touching the patient. First, it is static inspection. So, we have three types of body construction which relate to the normal chest. We look at the patient's clavicles. If supraclavicular hollows are good expressed, it is asthenic type. Middle expressed, it is normosthenic. And if they are not visible, it is hypersthenic type of body construction. Also, we can observe pathological chest in some diseases and conditions. For example, rickets. Then, we pay attention to the direction of the ribs. Vertical corresponds to the asthenic, oblique direction is normosthenic, and horizontal is hypersthenic type. One of the other ways to determine the constitution is the degree of epigastrial angle. To do that, we use our thumbs. In normosthenic, the angle is 90 degree. We move to the dynamic inspection. We ask patient to breathe in deeply and breathe out. Observe the chest, its movement should be symmetrical. After that, we check the respiratory rate. Also, we check the type of breathing, abdominal, thoracic or mixed. Next step is palpation. The aim of this stage of examination is to find out painful areas and define voice trembling. We palpate supraclavicular hollows from both sides, clavicles, subclavicular hollows from both sides, rib and intercostal areas from both sides, musculus pectoralis major, musculus pectoralis minor, and the sternum. Then we move to the back. Suprascapula hollows from the both sides, interscapula area, Scapulas, from the corner of the scapula from 7th rib till 9th rib. Also, paravertebralis and vertebralis lines. Let's define voice trembling to find out resonance in lungs. We ask patient to say rock and roll and we should feel the sound symmetrically. Supraclavicular hollows from the both sides. First intercostal interval. second intercostal interval, third intercostal interval, media axillaris line till ninth rib. Suprascapula area from the both sides, interscapula area, and subscapula area from 7th till 9th rib. Here we use quiet percussion. Normal condition of the lungs apex is 2-4 cm above the clavicles from the front and at the level of 7th cervical vertebra on the back. Then we find the lower borders of the lungs, but 
remember not to do topographical percussion at the front on the left side because there is heart. The apex of the lungs from the frontward The first intercostal interval The second intercostal interval The third intercostal interval Then we ask patient to raise his hands up. Axillaris anterior line. Axillaris medial line. Axillaris posterior line The apex of the lung from the back Interscapula area Subscapularis area from the corner of scapula from 7th till 9th rib. We listen bronchial breathing on the throat, larynx. Incisura jugularis. And above the bifurcation of trachea. From the backward, at the level of 7th cervical vertebra from the both sides. And 3rd or 4th thoracical vertebra from both sides. <laughs> 